Star Citizen, as with many science fiction IPs out there, has a lot of throwback references to, and clear influences from, naval and aviation terminology throughout, whether that be talking about ships, docking, or any range of other aeronautical terms. And with a military wing of the UEE named as the Navy, it's no wonder that many of us talk about our ships and our fleets. But to what extent will what we see in-game be reflective of some of those themes? I'm Farrister, and in this video we'll explore that topic, considering some of the aviation and naval references, and implications for the wider game. Some of you may be aware, but this channel regularly hosts a range of Star Citizen videos, ranging from guides to ship reviews. So if this kind of video sounds interesting to you, you might like to hit that subscribe button so that YouTube shows you more videos like this. To start with, there is significant overlap between nautical, aeronautical and spaceflight terminology in the modern world, and that makes sense. Given the way that long distance travel has developed over the past few centuries, there's significant benefit to having common jargon and ways of doing things, to help with the transfer of skills and equipment, but also to improve safety. And over the past century, naval aviation was born and blossomed, where some planes are also seaplanes, and some aircraft can take off and land on aircraft carriers or other ships performing a similar purpose. And we have similar offerings in Star Citizen, with some capital ships able to fulfil a carrier role, and some of the larger ships able to carry snub fighters and the like. Some of the smaller fighters in-game clearly carry design influences in modern fighter aircraft, following a sleek, aerodynamic design profile which would be advantageous in atmospheric combat. Then there are those like the Gladiator, which pay homage to World War II era bomber aircraft fitted with protective gunners. And the Retaliator, with ample ordnance and a full suite of defensive turrets, might remind some viewers of a B-29 Superfortress bomber. In terms of the way in which ships and aircraft fight, we see a mix of ordnance reflected in modern combat history too, ranging from high calibre ballistics to missiles and torpedoes, even potentially space mines with the Nautilus. And then there are all of the support ships, again often based in reality, with cargo haulers like the Hull series clearly influenced by large container ships, or the Hercules series reminiscent of large cargo aircraft. Then there are refuelling booms, repair and salvage craft, and even patrol or escort ships. In fact, for many of the ships in Star Citizen, you might be able to see clear influences from real ships or aircraft that have existed in the recent past. And that helps to make what we see in-game as relatable, but also what we do in-game to be relevant. Most recently, the trend has been one towards automation. That's because for many functions out there, a computer can do the job more reliably, more accurately and more consistently than we humans are able to. For example, point defence systems that are able to shoot down incoming munitions or automated docking systems on spacecraft. And with Star Citizen in a fictional future, many hundreds of years ahead, it would be quite believable that technology would be so advanced as to negate the need for humans to do many of those jobs. Why put a person in a turret if a computer could do so much better? But that doesn't make for great gameplay, especially when we want to embody some of the great science fiction experiences out there, like manning the turret to shoot down incoming fighters. And that's part of the reason why so many of the things we see in Star Citizen have recognisable influences in the recent past, and hopefully that makes for a compelling experience and a great game. But what do you think? And do you notice any references in-game where ships or systems remind you of something from our world? Let me know in the comments section. You might even press that like button if you thought this was the sort of topic you like to see covered to let me know to make more videos like this. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.